the city of Alaska. Matt, take it away. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. These first two items are a pair of cases. It's an annexation and a rezoning request from the Alaska Lands County Airport Authority. Um, as we have done with other such requests, uh, we hold one public hearing for both cases, take the for and against, and the discussion about the two of them collectively. And when it comes time to make motion and vote, we'll make motion and vote on the rezoning case first, and then the annexation case, so we have separate votes on that. Um, but together, uh, by Los Angeles and the airport authorities wanting to annex and rezone 3.21 acres. Property is currently split zone between conservation and the state agriculture, as shown on the zoning map. It's located at 3222 Madison Highway. It is immediately south of the least previously existing Valdosta Airport airfield. Uh, they acquired this a couple of years ago. They've already incorporated the property into the airfield. That was part of their purpose. Um, it used to have a single family residence. When you look at it on the aerial map, um, you can see a house and what used to be trees. It's getting kind of close to the approach path of the runway. Um, it was always something they wanted to acquire. They finally did. The house is gone. The trees are gone. It's been fenced in. Um, so they've reduced the encroachment onto the airfield. They've also, by doing this, provided themselves with a secondary means of access to the south end of the airfield straight from Madison Highway. So you don't have to come into the airfield from the north and come all the way down through the property to get to this end. So if you've been to the site, there's some pictures of it. The fencing is already up at the barbed wire top. This is the little inset area that you see on the survey plan. Um, there on the right side of the screen. And it's just part of the airfield now. So they're wanting to annex it and rezone so it's consistent with the rest of the property. There's nothing requiring them to do that. Uh, for all the airport properties currently in the city limits zoned in two. Occasionally they get funding that's passed through from federal funding that needs to come through a local government. It would be helpful if they only had one local government to deal with to make the pass through. And so since Valdosta has 99.5% of the property, it just makes sense to bring it all into the city limits. So the request is to annex it, and then when you look back at the zoning map, to give it into zoning, which matches the property of the airport to the north, and the city-owned property to the south, which is also in the two. Um, one thing to note, character area, currently it is split. This is from the pattern that went back 17 years ago. Um, the airport area was TCU. There was a little strip of neighborhood activity center along Madison Highway. The plan is upon annexation to adjust the character area boundary so that all of this property is TCU just like the rest of the airport property. So that would be another change that comes through. Um, again, survey shows the existing conditions, no more structure, you see the split zoning line. And then subject property, this is looking south, uh, westward into the airfield. The view northward along Madison Highway, you see the airfield boundary fence. And the only use of any significance nearby is Victory Baptist Church, which is diagonally across the road on the other side of Madison Highway. So with that, staff has uh, found both requests consistent with the comprehensive plan. We find the rezoning request consistent with the standards for exercise of zoning power, and we are recommending approval of both of them to you. Thank you, Matt. Commissioner, any questions for staff on this one? Or these two, actually? That's probably the question. I'm just curious, is, is there any lengthy thing in mind for the runway? Or Not that I've heard, um, although I think when you look at the aerial, it makes it a little easier to do that because then the runway is you know, still lined up within the airport property with a little extra buffer there. Um, I can see a minor lengthening and nothing major, but you know, they're sort of in competition. I think at last check theirs is the second longest um, non-military airstrip in Georgia, um, second only to Hartsfield, which has one that's very long. But the other one that's in the running with us and has been sort of a tit for tat over the past 20 years is Savannah. Um, airport authority folks will, will know the current status of that. But I think the last time we lengthened, we went beyond Savannah's land, and then they lengthened theirs, and then we lengthened ours. Here we go. Um, Hartsfield, if you look at the aerial for them, they have one that's for 
particularly long that their big birds land on. The others are not as long as what we have here. Um, but you know, we, for our community size, we have a very good airport with a nice long landing strip. But one of the things you have to keep in mind is we are a secondary airfield for the Air Force Base. So our long runway is a brownie point for Moody, uh, for the secondary airfield to have a good facility to land something big <laughs> if necessary. Any other questions for staff on this? You said this was already fenced in to the airport, is that what Correct. Okay. So, so the aerial is just from a couple of years ago. So it's within the past couple of years that the, the house was cleared first, and then they've gone in and cleared the trees and made it a grass field and fenced it in like the rest of the airfield. So all we're doing at this point is adjusting lines on paper. Any other questions for staff? Thank you, Matt. I will open the public hearing portion of this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of VA 202408? Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this case? Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion on this matter. Commissioners, any final comments? Then I'll entertain a motion on VA 202408. Yes, sir. Separate motion. Separate motion. Voting first. Well, Mr. Chairman, I uh, motion that we uh, approve VA 2, approve of VA 2024-08 as recommended. I'll second that. Okay, we have a recommendation of approval by Commissioner Bifewood and a second by Commissioner Roundtree. All those in favor? Thank you. All right, Matt, do we need to discuss this or just?